Hey, what's up everybody? Just wanna check in real quick. Coming out of the master bedroom. Just wanna show you guys how it's coming along. Today's the day that we're hanging up pictures. So if you see pictures on the bed, that's what we're, we're doing. But these are the two beds, guys. We're probably gonna paint that wall back to the original color. There used to be a female that lived in this room. So we're thinking about changing it. But that's one of the rooms right there. This one is still to be done. That's the bedding for that. There are the beds. We created a seating area right here. So this would be another sitting area where they'll watch TV. So the TV will go right on this table right here. And as you see the two pictures that are on the ground, they'll go right there on the wall. Here's the other master bedroom. There's actually three master bedrooms in this home. This room has stairs in it, so I have to come down the stairs. And look how beautiful this is. Three beds in this one and also a seating area. I'll come in. And just an over overview again of this room from the other angle. And there's a closet space. So we'll let them decide if they want to hang some stuff up in there. If they want to actually put a TV in there, we'll allow that. No problem. This is the bathroom that they'll share. And I can go downstairs either this way. That white stuff on the floor, guys, is carpet fresh. So we got this place smelling really good with carpet fresh and we got the Glade candles. We have the plug-ins as well. So I can go downstairs this way or this way. So this house is so big, it has two different ways to go downstairs. So again, either here or here to go down. And then again, a few steps to go back up. But then we go back down here. So this leads us to the kitchen if we go downstairs this way. washer and dryer here's our kitchen area we have our dining room table in here now there's my team we're putting it all together we're hanging pictures today so this is where they'll sit down and enjoy the food this is another downstairs bathroom full bathroom actually that's a full shower full bathroom turn around and that's the kitchen beautiful beautiful stuff We're still putting it together. Yeah. That's Darnell and Danny. That's my wife, Shay, the logistics manager, as well as all of everything. My wife manages everything. She makes us do all kinds of stuff. She bosses us around. Right, Shay? Well, she know it. <laughs> Shay makes sure that we, we're, we're doing the right thing. So obviously, guys, that's where the TV will go, smart TV. We told you about that. And this is the downstairs furniture. It's just kind of not all together yet. And we got tons of pictures that we're putting up. We got pictures everywhere, guys. Pictures everywhere. Here's another downstairs master bedroom I'm gonna take you into. Another master bedroom. This home is 5,000 square feet, guys. And it will serve homeless college students or college students that can't afford to live on campus. All they have to do is call Second Chance Housing. And we'll take care of it. So another, again, guys, this is a master bath. This home has three master bedrooms, I do believe. Of course, that's me. Walk-in shower. Double sink vanity. Bathroom. Extra storage. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Washcloth, towel, seating area, the, the storage bins, matching storage bins, I may add. We get those from Walmart, guys. We showed you guys this room yesterday, I do believe. Man, it smells good in here now. 
We got so many Glade oil plugins in this place, it almost knock you down. Because <laughs> we wanted to smell good. This room is actually going to be turned into a study hall. We're thinking about having um, some desks build in here and turning this room into a study hall. Or whether it's a study hall or not, and I can even enclose this part. We're going to make this part of the quiet room where we're allowed them to come and study. So no talking, no TV. This would be a time of homework and self-reflection. Blah. Self-reflection. Things like that. Yep. And this is the other way upstairs. And again, all that white stuff on the carpet is carpet fresh. And this is outside. Give you guys a a look at what this place looks like from the outside. So we did all the pressure washing today. Good stuff, right? There's all the equipment. This was black. This was all black and we pressure washed the entire driveway. So not only do we run a tight ship as far as the program goes, when we rent these homes from property owners, we take pride in these places. And we actually bring value. The owner came today and was like, Derek, I'm jealous. You make this place look better than when I lived in it. And that's what we do. That's how you gain trust of these homeowners. You take care of their place just like it's yours. So this is a 5,000 square foot home, guys, and we're gonna take care of it just like it's ours. And as I always tell you guys, man, don't wait to be great. Sign up at forcedinconsultants.com for our next webinar, which is March 10th. I do believe that's at 7 p.m. Then we have another one, March 13th, which is a Saturday. And we'll be showing you guys how, how to do this. If you guys know anything about me by now, I don't hide this because people hid it from me. So there's no way I'll hide this from you guys. So we got some big, nice pictures on the wall. Look at those. We got nice that looks. Shay, Shay don't like it? She said it's crooked. It's crooked? It looks straight to me. Well, show it to the people. They'll tell us. Looks good to me. And this will match the other one. I told y'all, man, Shay keep us on our toes, man. If Shay said it ain't straight, it ain't straight. <laughs> I don't know, Darnell. Look straight to me. Yeah, look straight to me too. <laughs> Shay, what you think? You straight? Come back a little bit, Darnell. Shay saying, "Come back a little bit, D." <laughs> so these are all the pictures that we have. Tons of this stuff. We told you guys, man, that once you start doing this and people start realizing what you do, hotels call us now. Like all of this furniture, a lot of this stuff that you see, a hotel calls, especially these green chairs. And my upholstery guy came and cleaned all of these green chairs yesterday. The brown ones too, actually. He wasn't supposed to clean these, but he did. So these two, actually, I'm, I'm actually going to move this one somewhere else. But yep, Shay's going to hook up our TV. Shay is also going to hook up our cameras. So we put a, a camera system in all of these homes. And Shay is the one that hooks up all of our cameras. Shay is also going to be the one that takes care of the digital door lock. Darnella put it on and Shay will make sure that it's all ready to go. Here's another room, guys. I didn't even show you this one. My pillow's falling down right here. Let's get this back up. Got all the windows open. We're airing this place out today. There's those bins that we told you guys about, Sterilite bins. Super big closet. This is independent living at its finest, guys. Our clients live and thrive without the need for staff. That's why it's independent living. We don't give a lot of services to our clients. Most of our clients are already hooked up with case management, social workers, social service providers. So all we do is specialize in housing. I told you guys, I'm good at a lot of things, but I'm great at housing. That's what I do. That's what we do at Forsted Consultants. Sign up at ForstedConsultants.com if you want to learn how we do this. This is just be another little seating area. Huge, huge, huge room. Another master bedroom. This is the third master bedroom. So we're probably going to put three beds in here. It could probably do five. That's how big this room is, but we're probably gonna do three. Those are some pictures that we're gonna put on the wall. This is the bedding that'll go in here. That's a huge mirror that we're gonna put in this room. And this one has a little tucked off office. So we're gonna put a computer desk and an office in here, kind of an office space. 
we'll put a computer and a desk in there. And just in case if females end up in this room, female college students will leave that wall like